Hello everyone, I'm Sarah of Ridge Textures Crochet and welcome. Today we are going to learn how to crochet the pike stitch, which you can see here in front of you. Now the pike stitch is another uh, mesh stitch and if you missed it you can learn how to crochet the single crochet mesh uh, here on my channel and you'll find that video under the uh, crochet stitch tutorials. So this is another mesh stitch. Uh, it's worked slightly differently than that single crochet one and this time we'll be using extended single crochet stitches. The result is a fabric that is a little bit more lacy, a little bit more airy than uh, the single crochet. It is the same on both sides and uh, it's just a fun and wonderful fabric to work. So today I'm going to be using a little bit of the Karen Times Pantone yarn by Your Inspirations, as well as a 5.5 millimeter crochet hook. The free written and photo tutorial for this stitch can be found on my blog at richtexturescrochet.com and the direct link is there for you in the description of this video. So thank you so much for joining me. While you're here, I invite you to subscribe, take a look at some of the other tutorials there, and let me know in the comments how you would use this stitch in a project or how you have seen it used in the past. Now our stitch today is worked in rows, so we're going to start by making a slip knot and then work a foundation chain and your foundation chain is going to have to have an odd number of stitches. So today I'm going to chain a total of 21. There's 10. Twenty and twenty-one. So you can have any odd number of stitches. You're going to begin row one by working an extended single crochet stitch into the fifth chain from your hook. So count in one, two, three, four, five, and into that fifth chain work one extended single crochet. To work an extended single crochet, you're going to insert your hook into that stitch, yarn over and draw up a loop. Two loops on your hook, you're going to yarn over and draw through one loop on your hook. Then yarn over and draw through the remaining two loops. That is your extended single crochet stitch. Chain one, skip the next stitch and work an extended single crochet into the next stitch. Insert your hook, yarn over, draw up a loop, yarn over and draw through one loop, yarn over and draw through two. You're going to repeat that all the way across. Chain one, skip one, extended single crochet into the next stitch. Repeat that all the way across, working your final stitch into that final chain. At the end of row one, you will chain three and turn your work. Your chain three counts as your first stitch and chain one space. So uh, for your row two, you're going to skip that first stitch, skip the chain one space, and into the top of the next stitch, which was your sing extended single crochet, you're going to work an extended single crochet stitch. Chain one, skip the next chain one space, and work an extended single crochet into the top of the next stitch. You're going to repeat that all the way across, working your final stitch into the second chain of that starting chain three. All 
I'm at the end of my row two. I've chained one. I'm going to skip the next chain and then into the uh, second chain of that starting chain three. Or I guess the third chain, sorry, of that starting chain four. You're going to work your final extended single crochet stitch. You're then going to, at the end of row two, chain three, turn your work, and you're all set to begin again. Extended single crochet into the top of that first stitch, chain one, skip the next chain one space, and repeat. You're going to do that all the way across. At the end, you're going to work your final stitch into the chain two of that starting chain three. And uh, chain three and turn your work. And that's all there is to working this pike stitch. So thank you so much for joining me and uh, I look forward to seeing you again next week. Until then, happy crocheting. Bye.